The entire country has been plunged into lockdown after an unvaccinated 58-year-old man tested positive to COVID-19 here in the nation's largest city of Auckland. There was panic buying at supermarkets like the one behind me even before the lockdown was announced by the Prime Minister, who says that it must be assumed that the positive case involves the highly infectious Delta variant, even though genomic sequencing won't be completed until Wednesday. While we cannot confirm it yet, we need to assume that our case will be too. And that has shaped all of the decisions we have made this afternoon. It's the first case of community infection in New Zealand for more than six months. And Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern says the Delta variant is a more dangerous enemy, which is why the government is going hard and early with an immediate lockdown so that we can get out of this as quickly as possible. She says that New Zealand is one of the last countries in the world to have the Delta variant. But all you have to do is look what's happening in countries like Australia to see the dire consequences of taking too long to act. At this stage, the source of the infection isn't known, but the infected man and his wife, who has tested negative, visited a seaside community last weekend, where they spent time in a crowded hotel and restaurant, which could have exposed a couple of hundred people to the virus. The level four lockdown means that all educational facilities and businesses must close immediately, except for emergency services. And people are being urged to stay at home and keep their distance from strangers if they venture outside for exercise or to buy essential food or medicine. Wearing masks outside is also being encouraged, but it is not mandatory. Testing centres are also being set up urgently around Auckland, and the nation's vaccination programme has been put on hold for 48 hours until more stringent safety procedures are in place. At this stage, only 23% of New Zealanders are fully vaccinated, so the government is keen to continue giving people the jab if they can do so safely. At this stage, the nationwide lockdown is scheduled to last for three days, but the city of Auckland is being locked down for seven days, while health officials race to find anyone who came in contact with the infected man. So it's going to be an anxious few days before authorities know whether this one case has sparked an outbreak that could lead to even more restrictions in the days and weeks ahead. Owen Poland, CGTN, Auckland.